good morning to all the judges. Sir, so basically, I am Black Shiny, and uh, I come from a rural background. And right now, I'm studying in Vidyagan School on full scholarship. And I've made a project named as Mission Protector, and it's basically to avoid hot cartels. Now, uh, firstly, let me tell you how I came to like how I got this idea. So, uh, at my home, I was uh, like uh, during summer vacations. I think it was a grade nine summer vacations, and right now I'm in grade eleven. So, at that point of time, our whole family was watching news together, and they saw a news wherein a child uh, was playing hide and seek, and then the child got into the car, and uh, because of this uh, auto lock system, he wasn't able to get out, and due to suffocation, he died inside. So, uh, then my mother. there was like uh, in tears and then uh, she was like this shouldn't happen so that's when that's how i came up with the idea and then i came back to school and then i uh, like discussed it with them with the, like with few people and then i started working on this project so firstly let me explain you the problem which is like hot car tents so what basically happens in this uh, thing is like uh, usually what happens like children are playing for example hide and seek and they get in the get into the car and when they are not able to come out so like the the like the windows is shut and everything is shut so the, basically the car is packed and if the child is continuously breathing in the oxygen and uh, like exhaling uh, co2 the co2 level will rise and the oxygen level will go down and uh, because of this the child is suffocates and dies and there is one more uh, other factor because of which this happens is sometimes uh, children uh, like a uh, parents go for uh, some uh, some important business probably like shopping or uh, they go for work so they leave their children in the car itself and they go and when they come back they find their children dead so uh, this was a problem and i thought like It, this was really unnoticed and i thought of uh, coming up with an idea so what i've done in the solution part is uh, recently i like i joined robotics club i uh, like design and innovation thinking club when i was in like grade 7th or so so uh, whatever i have learned in there from that only i tried to uh, come up with a solution so for this part i have for the solution part uh, i use one mq135 sensor i hope you can see it right is it yes. visible Yeah. So this is a uh, uh, highly sensitive to CO two, and I use one Arduino microcontroller. Uh, this is uh, Arduino Uno microcontroller, uh, which basically processes everything. And this is the servo motor, which will open the window. So, firstly, the sensor will detect the level of CO two inside the car. So there is like a danger line, like a threshold. So like if uh, once uh, the level will cross that uh, threshold, like the CO two level, the person is in danger. So what we have done is once this uh, like uh, senses the level of CO two, sends this uh, uh, like the input to the microcontroller, and the microcontroller presses like we have programmed in such a manner, and we have uh, told the threshold uh, threshold value to the microcontroller. Now if the microcontroller finds that uh, finds that uh, the level of CO two is beyond the threshold. value it will simply uh, uh, trigger the message to servo motor to rotate at an angle and uh, the servo motor will partially open the window and if the microcontroller senses that no the threshold value is like not cross then it will like it won't do anything and again like this will continuously input uh, uh, the the whatever the information to the microcontroller and if it is like beyond threshold value the servo motor will rotate and open the window and once the window is open the oxygen will get in and then um, Once oxygen will get in, the child will be able to breathe, and once the level is maintained, the window will shut back again. So, should I show you the working of it as well? I should. Okay. Um. So, first thing, let me show you the model. So, basically, I have prepared one dummy car, and inside, I have created this setup, like the same setup which I, which I was showing you here. Just one. So, like, I have the whole setup in here, and I have the servo motor. over here i don't think you can see this but i'll try to show it to you uh so this is the window of the car right now uh here behind this window i have a servo motor this is the microcontroller and this is sensor now i am using like i'm using some combustion to give it some co2 right now firstly let me give you some okay uh here's this just right i need to get it now now i'm going to increase the co2 level so that it will cross the threshold value so just now i gave it co2 and the window is open and as soon 
as uh, the CO2 level will like uh, come down the threshold value, the window will shut back again. So here in the program, for now I have uh, kept the threshold value as 200. And uh, once uh, like uh, it crosses that threshold value, the window is open and I think it has gone a little, a lot up. So it will take time to come down. Once it will come down, the window will again shut back. This is like a prototype, and right now in the testing process, we are trying to test the same model on our mentor star as well. So, like to bring it into re real life application, we are about to try it on a mentor star as well. So, this is my project. Mm -hmm.